as we begin, breathe slowly and acknowledge that God is with you. Thank Him for His protection, provision, and His presence in your life. And tell Him that you desire to be with Him, to know Him, and to love Him as He loves you. The author of Hebrews calls Jesus our great high priest. According to Leviticus 10, the priests were to be set apart for service to God in several ways. In addition to offering sacrifices on behalf of themselves and the people, they were to listen to God, to distinguish between the holy and the common, the clean and the unclean, and they were to teach the law to the people of Israel. The priest's job was to protect the sacred space of God's presence from uncleanness. They also helped enforce the boundaries to keep people safe from trespassing into God's sacred space in an unclean state. Surprisingly, for someone considered a priest, let alone a great high priest, as Hebrews claims, Jesus didn't spend his ministry offering sacrifices in the temple. He spent his ministry living outside the protected boundaries of that sacred space, touching and healing the sick. He brought the sacred space of himself to those who needed him those who were ceremonially unclean and unable to even draw near to others for fear of making them unclean as well. A priest could not touch those whom Jesus touched and then safely re-enter the temple without ritual washing and cleansing, and yet Jesus does so on numerous occasions. Luke recounts a man with a skin condition that would render him ceremonially unclean, meeting Jesus and asking for healing. Reaching out his hand, Jesus touched him saying, I am willing, be made clean. There were so many laws deeming this man untouchable, and Jesus intentionally touched him. Instead of the uncleanness contaminating Jesus, the power of God flowed into this man, and his leprosy was healed. Now a traditional priest could merely declare him clean or unclean, but Jesus made him clean, thereby restoring him to his community. Jesus was showing himself to be a priest unlike any anyone had ever seen. Upon his death, the curtain protecting the most holy place from any intruder was torn in two. Any fear of God we might have after reading about the power and danger of approaching the sacred space is rendered null and void with the priesthood of Jesus. Let's pray. Jesus, you make it safe for us to enter your sacred space. We are no longer in danger of trespassing into God's presence. You brought your presence here to earth and touched the unclean. Help us not ignore your actions, even if they might seem small or insignificant to us. A mere touch communicated volumes about who you were and what you came to do. Thank you for touching that man with leprosy. Thank you for being our great high priest and for making us clean. Thank you for not walking away from those who need you most. Thank you for not walking away from us. And now as we close, think again about what you read in Luke today. What did you notice? What questions did it leave you with? Take a moment to pray on your own based on what you read.